On October 15, 2018, The Breakfast Club introduced Cesar Pena, a relatively unknown real estate investor in New Jersey, onto the show as a featured guest. Recent lawsuits have been filed against Caesar and DJ Envy alleging a Ponzi-like investment scheme that has taken millions from investors. It all started with this interview. We got a special guest in the building. You might know him on Instagram as Flippin' NJ, my friend Caesar Pena. Five years later, numerous customers allege they were defrauded by Caesar. Over the past five years, DJ Envy has promoted Caesar as a real estate expert and trustworthy source for learning the game. What up, y'all? It's DJ Envy. Flippin' NJ. DJ Envy and Caesar's partnership seemed innocent until Tony the Closer began receiving messages about investors giving the two money and not receiving any money back. Then, the investigation began. July 21, 2018. DJ Envy posts to his Instagram about a house he purchased in Detroit. A couple of weeks ago, at Knit De Grit introduced me to a guy named Caesar, aka Flipping NJ, that invests in New Jersey real estate. Uh, a friend of mine, uh, his name is Knit De Grit. He owns the label where uh, Fetty Wap is signed to, and he did the introduction between me and Envy. Cesar Pena's Instagram looked like this at the time. The message that Envy shared was, he looks like us, listens to the same music, dresses like us, and is from the same place as us. He just had the vision of real estate before any one of us did. He owns over 500 units in New Jersey. You have a criminal <laughs> record, but your criminal record actually got you into this business. This seems to be a prerequisite for being a subject of my videos as of late. I'm more street educated than anything else. When all my friends went to college and stuff like that, chose the streets, everybody's telling me, oh, you gotta change your life, can't do this, you're gonna end up in jail. So I ended up in jail. I'm starting to wonder if he and Jay Morrison were roommates in prison sharing their ideas on how to implement their street knowledge in the real estate game. I was never thinking about public speaking or anything like that. And I met Envy, he inspired me, and he said I had a great story and I can inspire other people. DJ Envy introduced Caesar to his millions of followers, which is why he's found himself in the middle of the controversy for what we're going to unveil shortly. What up, y'all? It's DJ Envy. Nothing, we picked this up off of auction.com. We outbid somebody. Just a few months after this Instagram post that used the word we a lot, Caesar was introduced to Anthony Barone and Anthony Martini. Martini signed DJ Envy to his record label in 2016. A few years later, when DJ Envy began promoting Caesar, Martini became interested. He trusted Envy from their friendship and because Caesar sounded legit. Envy told Martini that he was a partner on many deals with Caesar that had gone well and mentioned that there was a new investment opportunity opening up to partner with them. 385-391 Totowa Avenue in Patterson, New Jersey is where an old school building rots away. Envy told Martini that this location would become a new apartment complex project spearheaded by Caesar and Jennifer Pina. Martini felt confident enough in his friend DJ Envy and this alleged real estate mogul that that he invested one million dollars into their project. Started with no money, and here I am, fifty million dollars later in real estate. How much? Fifty million. Investors felt confident giving him money because they believed he was a real estate mogul. Caesar and Jennifer Pena told Martini that they funded the project with two point five million dollars of their own money and a three point five million dollar construction loan. Martini's money would help with overruns and operating expenses until the liquidation date. Around the same time, Envy and Caesar met with a man named Anthony Barone, who brought his friends Eaton Sugarman. DJ Clue and Gary V, as they all indicated interest in the prospective real estate investment opportunities. Over the next four hours, Caesar and Envy drove around Patterson, New Jersey, showing off the successful real estate investments they had. One of the properties shown to the group was 385-391 Totowa Avenue that was being pitched as a chance to turn this rundown school into a financially lucrative apartment complex called Taylor Court Apartments. Barone decided to invest $500,000 for a 12.5% interest stake after believing the apartment project would be a good investment. Caesar said construction would be completed a year later in early 2021. What helped Barone solidify his decision was seeing documents for the project also signed by his friend Anthony Martini to proceed with wiring his half a million dollars to Caesar. A little red flag is that it's now alleged that Caesar forged Martini's signature. We had the Jacob Javis Center setting everything up. Last time we had 4,000 in here. So if you want to learn about real estate. Federal canine officers are going to utilize scent when they go hunting for Caesar. The best way to upgrade your scent is with a subscription service like Scentbird. Not only are they supporting my channel and helping me make long and detailed videos like this one, they're also helping me upgrade my fragrance game. I was pleasantly surprised at how easy their process was to find a fragrance that I wanted. This month I received Maritime for Him by Tommy Bahama. I also got Light Blue Pour Om by Dolce & Cabana. Dirty Hinoki by Heretic. And last but not least, Indigo Smoke by Arquist. My personal favorite is Maritime for him as it reminds me of being out on a boat on a beautiful summer afternoon. What's really cool is Scentbird provides notes on what scent is found in each fragrance, allowing you to easily select other fragrances that match your style and preference. 
Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service with a mission to empower everyone to learn about fragrance and its uplifting effect on your style and vibe. For just $17 a month, you can choose a new designer fragrance to try every month before committing to a full-size bottle. What's great about their service is the product they send you will last at least 30 days. If you'd like to smell amazing and upgrade your fragrance game, then take advantage of 55% off your first month if you use the coupon code SPENCER at checkout. Back to the video. September 2020, Trevor Roman attends a real estate seminar hosted by DJ Envy and Cesar Pina. Roman wanted to meet one-on-one -on -one with Cesar, so he paid $2,500 for a personal coaching session, which turned into Cesar promoting the idea of partnering with him on a deal. On October 20, 2020, Roman signed a joint venture agreement for a property at 91 Harding Avenue in Clifton, New Jersey, where he would contribute $100,000 and receive a 30% return within five months. Using my favorite software, Batch Leads, we can see that 91 Harding Avenue in Clifton, New Jersey was never purchased by Caesar or an LLC he owns. A couple months later in January 2021, a company titled BTC Investments LLC entered into a joint venture agreement with Caesar Pena. The property address was 27 Boyden Parkway South in Maplewood, New Jersey, where BTC would provide $150,000 to Caesar to help facilitate the purchase and rehab of the property. Caesar would return 35% profit within three months. In February 2021, Caesar went into a joint venture agreement with Paul Peralta for the property located at 89 Franklin Ave in Hawthorne. New Jersey. Peralta would send Caesar $100,000 and receive 30% profit within five months. In March 2021, Mr. Roman contacted Caesar asking for an update because the five month period had passed for the property to complete renovations and sell. Caesar said the property hadn't been sold and that Mr. Roman would be better rolling his money into another property investment. Caesar wired him $30,000 from his supposed profits and told him to roll over the initial $100,000 into a second property. This new investment property was 109 Lyon Street in Patterson, New Jersey. Jersey. At least this property was purchased by Caesar through his LLC called From Start to Flipping LLC in November 2020 for $210,000. Caesar told Trevor Roman that all he needed was an additional $50,000 and he'd receive all of his money back within five months with a little premium added on top. That same month, Paul Peralta entered into a second joint venture agreement with Caesar for the property at 566-568 East 39th Street in Patterson, New Jersey. He would send $200,000 to Caesar and profit $70,000. What I found odd about this arrangement is that 566 East 39th Street in Patterson is for an auto body shop. The apartment next door is address 568-570 East 39th Street. The address listed in the lawsuit was different than what the actual address appears to be. This happened multiple times and I can't figure out why that happened. Caesar bought this property in November 2020 and sold it in February 2022 for a $226,000 difference. May 2021, BTC Investments has patiently waited for their property to sell and recoup their investment. Caesar says, not yet. Wait a little longer. June 2021, Caesar and Paul Peralta enter their third joint venture agreement for the property located at 267 6th Avenue in Patterson, New Jersey. Paul will provide $150,000 towards the purchase and rehab and receive $45,000 profit. Caesar bought this property four years prior in February 2017 for $245,000 and obtained a $385,000 commercial mortgage on the property in February 2018. If he had a loan that covered purchase and rehab, why was he taking $150,000 additional dollars from Paul Peralta? Around that same time, Mr. Peralta sent Caesar a final $150,000 as a private money loan for Caesar's real estate operations with the expectation that he'd receive a $45,000 profit. On August 30, 2021, Trevor Roman still had not received any updates on his property, but Caesar did send him $2,500. Caesar also told Mr. Roman that he had a new opportunity for him to roll his money into a third joint venture agreement due to the long sales process of 109 Lion Street. The third joint venture agreement credited Mr. Roman with $200,000 towards the next property, which would yield a profit of $70,000 within five months when sold. 109 Lion Street, the second property investment offered to Mr. Roman, eventually sold four months later in December 2021 for $400,000. But in January 2022, Mr. Roman had still not received any money, so Caesar offered a fourth joint venture rollover agreement for the property located at 126 Jasper Street in Patterson, New Jersey. Mr. Roman was credited with $270,000 towards the fourth property property with a profit of $94,500. That meant Caesar would be sending Mr. Roman $364,500 when the Jasper Street property finished construction and sold. The only problem is that Caesar's LLC sold this property in December 2020 for $390,000, which means he didn't 
owned the property when he offered the opportunity to Mr. Roman to partner on the deal. So the first thing I, I realized and what I used to do was I used to use my own money. When I met Caesar, I realized Caesar will not use his own money. He's probably one of the cheapest people <laughs> I know. I think what Envy actually means is Caesar uses other people's money for purchases outside of real estate. November 2021, Caesar notifies Barone and Martini that construction is underway for their apartment building project, even notifying them that workers are there every day and that the plumbing and foundation are done. December 2021, Stanley Acosta attended one of DJ Envy and Caesar's real estate seminars at the Javits Center in New York City. A few days later, he was in Pena's office discussing a potential partnership deal for the property at 145 Union Avenue in Patterson, New Jersey. The only data I see is on Redfin, indicating this property hasn't been sold since 2015. In March 2022, Acosta gave Caesar $150,000 in cash with the promise of $45,000 profit within five months. Around this time, Caesar reached out to Barone and Martini to notify them that the Taylor Court apartment project was underway for the second time, but completion would now be around November 2022. May 17, 2022. Alexis Hernandez gives Caesar $250,000 for the purchase of 27 South Boyden Parkway in Maplewood, New Jersey. Alexis was promised a profit of $45,000 when the project completed five months later. Caesar bought this property for $409,500 17 months earlier in December 2020 with a $385,000 construction loan. Once again, why did Caesar need to raise $250,000 for a project that he already had a construction loan on two years prior? June 2022, Trevor Roman was ready to get paid out after after waiting around 18 months for his projects to sell. He went to Caesar's office and demanded money. Caesar obliged by giving him two checks totaling $163,000. But Caesar said not to cash them because those accounts didn't have the money just yet. Caesar then offered him a fifth joint venture agreement for the property at 16 Gunther Place in Passaic, New Jersey. Caesar purchased this property through his warehouse LLC in August 2014 for $97,000. Mr. Roman probably didn't know that Caesar was having serious money problems around this time. On June 30, 2020, Alexis Investment and Funding 2 LLC filed a foreclosure complaint against Caesar and Jennifer Pena. The Pena's took out a commercial loan secured by a second mortgage for their property in Franklin Lakes, New Jersey, in the amount of $594,633. That's on top of the $2.5 million mortgage when they purchased the property. In 2013, the property looked like this. A decade later, and they've built a beautiful mansion. The loan foreclosing on them only cost $5,000 a month. You would think it wasn't that much for a real estate mogul. August 2022. Anthony Martini is tired of Caesar not responding to his call, so he decides to drive by the job site for his massive Taylor Court apartments deal. He finds that no construction has been done despite Caesar saying it began months ago. He demands Caesar to return his money. According to Batch Leads, this property doesn't have a mortgage. But Caesar told Martini that he would have his money back once he could refinance the debt on the property. This same month, August 2022, Caesar met the next victim will label EB, who had just received a settlement agreement for being abused in S aid. Wanting to solidify a secure financial future for her and the kid on the way, she decided to meet with Caesar, who promoted himself as being a real estate mogul with significant experience and success. Property number one for their partnership would be 470 River Street in Patterson, New Jersey, where she'd provide $250,000 and receive 30% profit within five months. Caesar bought this property in March 2014 for only $90,000. Property number two would be 523 Park Ave in Patterson, New Jersey, where she'd provide another $250,000. Caesar bought this property September 2018 for only $225,000. Property number three would be 149-151 Manchester Ave in Patterson, New Jersey, where she'd provide $100,000. Caesar bought this property in April 2019 for $140,000 using a construction loan of $256,000. A month later, Caesar notified EB that he had another investment opportunity for her where she'd contribute an additional $150,000. Despite taking money from these investors, Caesar couldn't pay his credit card bill. On September 9, 2022, Amex filed a complaint against Caesar Pena and Pena Management LLC for defaulting on their credit card bill. Amex alleges that the Pena's didn't even pay the minimum amount due and their account balance was $94,800.99. On that same day, Caesar signed an agreement with Amy Flips LLC for two joint venture agreements and a personal guarantee on both. Caesar allegedly couldn't pay his credit card bill, but he was accepting money from another investor. I'll let you determine why. Property number one with Amy Flips was a $250,000 investment for 27 South Boyden Parkway in Maplewood, New Jersey. If that property sounds familiar, that's because it is. Just three months earlier, Caesar signed a joint venture agreement for that same property with Alexis Hernandez. Property number two was another $250,000 investment for 89 Franklin Avenue in Hawthorne, New Jersey. Caesar bought this property for $260,000 five and a half years earlier in March 2017. October 2022, Trevor Roman wanted his money, so he stormed into Caesar's 
Caesar's office again. Caesar gave him two checks for $80,000 that did clear. I'm like, I'm leaving here with something. <laughs> October is when Alexis Hernandez's loans are coming due. Caesar sends two checks to Alexis. Check number one for $100,000 and check number two for $250,000. Both bounce due to insufficient funds. Despite the heat turning up, Caesar still found a way to introduce four more victims into the scheme. October 7, 2022, Jenna Mar Investments LLC and Caesar entered a joint venture agreement for $100,000 for the property located at 149-151 Manchester Ave with the promise of 20% returns in five months. This is the same property as EB's third joint venture agreement just a couple months prior and already had a construction loan covering the purchase and rehab. The following week on October 12, 2022, Derek D'Angelo signed a joint venture agreement with Caesar for the property at 523 Park Avenue in Patterson, New Jersey for $100,000. Unbeknownst to Derek, Caesar had just signed an agreement with victim EB for that same property. Caesar promised Derek 30% returns within five months. Two weeks later on October 25, 2022, Caesar met with Onsite Properties LLC to give him access to a partnership for properties 149-151 Manchester Ave in Patterson, New Jersey and 523 Park Avenue in Patterson, New Jersey. If the addresses are starting to sound the same, that's because they are. Caesar was signing multiple agreements with investors and accepting significantly more capital than necessary to complete the projects. On-site Properties LLC handed over $300,000 to partner on those two properties. Hector Santana met with Caesar during this same week and signed joint venture agreements with Caesar for the Manchester Ave property and 462-464 East 24th Street in Patterson, New Jersey. Caesar purchased the 24th Street property three and a half years before in April 2019 for $202,000 and sold the property in October 2022 for $545,000. While it may seem like a sizable profit, we don't know all the costs associated with completion. But the key here is that Caesar was signing joint venture agreements with investors for a property he just sold and didn't even own. Hector Santana was promised 30% returns on $400,000 within five months. Where that money was being used, I don't know. For Hector's two deals, Caesar was already overcapitalized on the Manchester Ave property from other investors, and the East 24th Street property had already sold. Where was the money going, Caesar? November 2022, Caesar signs an agreement with a third investor for a million dollars in order to fund a construction cost at the Taylor Court Apartments. Caesar never told Barone and Martini, the two investors who contributed $1.5 million combined already. November 9, 2022, Ransom Endeavors Inc. meets with Caesar, notifying him of $200,000 in liquid funds ready to invest. Caesar presented 89 Franklin Ave in Hawthorne, New Jersey as the investment property and that he would need the $200,000 to complete the project. Caesar promised a 30% return within five months, despite already owning the property for five years and having agreements with other investors for the same property. December 2022, BTC Investments had been trying to reach Caesar for the prior 16 months to no avail. He had not received a dollar in return in nearly two years. Caesar wouldn't respond to BTC investments, but he would respond to the next victim, Christian Vasquez. Caesar promoted the Manchester Avenue property in Patterson once again. Christian provided $150,000 with a promise of 30% returns within five months. January 2023, EB was getting tired of hearing false promises and excuses for why the projects weren't completed. Caesar sent her a check for $80,000. The funds may have come from the next victim. Derek Maldonado gave Caesar $200,000 a few days prior to Caesar sending the $80,000 check to EB. If you guessed their agreement would be for the property on Manchester Ave in Patterson, New Jersey, then you are correct. 30% profits within five months were promised to Derek, despite that property already being overcapitalized from other investors. February 2023, Caesar is likely keeping himself afloat at this point by continually raising money from more victims. This month, he adds another three that we know of. These three separate investors hand over a combined $900,000. All three signed joint venture agreements for the Manchester Ave property, while the largest investor of the three signed two other JVs for the Park Avenue and Franklin Avenue properties. March 2023, Caesar had been dodging Trevor Roman's calls and requests for updates, so he decided to show up to Caesar's office again. Caesar promised that the property was nearly done, it just needed another month to close, and Trevor could expect the $280,000 that was owed on that date. Amy Flips also decided to show up to Caesar's office demanding an update and threatening legal action after Caesar had cut communication. Caesar lied again saying that the construction at the properties was nearly complete and her money would be on the way next month. Caesar also met with Onsite Properties LLC after six months of refusing communication. Caesar advised this victim that he should roll his investment into another property, which he did not take kindly. Also in March, Caesar met up with Hector Santana to advise him on rolling his $350,000 initial investment into the Park Avenue property other investors had already invested in. Caesar gives Hector two post-dated checks, one for $70,000 and another for $100,000. The first one cleared, but the second check bounced. 
April 2023, Caesar sends Ransom Endeavors Inc. a check for $30,000 representing 50% of the interest owed from the projects. After six months of avoiding contact, Caesar reaches out to Stanley Acosta asking for bank account information so he could send the proceeds of a property sale. The money never arrived. Caesar finally answers Derek D'Angelo's communication and asks him to drive multiple hours to his office. Derek picked up checks totaling $130,000. They both bounced. Derek threatened to report Pino, which influenced Caesar to send a wire of $30,000, leaving the initial $100,000 still missing. If you're wondering where the money came from, the final victim, Chamberlain Group Real Estate Ventures LLC, invested $835,000 with Caesar for the Manchester Ave and Boyden Parkway properties. They were promised a significant return within six months. May 2023, Caesar sends two checks to Onsite Properties LLC, one for $100,000 and another for $37,000 and he was told not to deposit them just yet. Those checks have still not cleared to this day. June 2023, Barone and Martini are getting anxious that their property doesn't seem to be close to being ready to rent or sell. Martini decided to drive by the property and this is what he found. All lawsuits point to Caesar cutting off communication with all investors. My guess is his phone is in his back pocket and he can't reach it. What's not a joke is the amount of victims in this investment scheme I only know of about 20, which brings us to DJ Envy. And we only expected like 50 people at the seminar that we did. The first one we did, it was like 1,500 people. The second Ooh. one was like 3,000, then 5,000, then 10,000. Because of DJ Envy's influence, he was able to sell out large rooms for his real estate seminars with Caesar Pena. Many of the complaints explain how they met with Caesar because of watching him on stage at the seminars. We currently own and manage and also have projects that we're building now from the ground up of 3,000 units. This video was filmed in June 2022, the same month a mortgage company was foreclosing on them on their primary residence. They've been paying like two, three thousand for seminars, five thousand seminars. And then Sheesh. when they get to the seminar, no, they don't learn payment. anything. Then to talk to people, they got to pay more money. And we tried to stop that. It's alleged in the complaints that they did the opposite. Following the speaker presentations, members of the Pena Network, including DJ Envy, set up booths at which they offered private consultations with seminar attendees. They obtained all of their contact info. And then they sized up the financial resources in order to solicit attendees with high net worths for their joint ventures. And then offering consulting services with Caesar for 50 $1,500 to $2,500 per meeting at his office. It seems that every meeting in his office turned into a pitch for his joint ventures. <laughs> and you know, there's also a lot of seminars out there that are trash and that people are, are playing <laughs> off your hope. So these events, which start, starts becoming a marketing funnel, right? People start now coming into mentorships. They come to these events to be able to get game. But then most of these events, there's that same thing that you talked about that you don't like. The upsell. See, because I pay attention, right? You you had a major problem with people who had live events and then they didn't teach much information and then they do these upsells for higher mentorships, et cetera, et cetera, investment opportunities. Well, it seems as if that's what's now happened with you and Caesar. Now let's analyze Envy's potential liability. Has anybody ever gave me a dollar, a dime, a nickel, a quarter, a hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, a hundred thousand dollars, a five hundred thousand, a million? Not one person, because I'm making my business not to take money from nobody. And there's nobody on this live and there's nobody <clears throat> in here that could ever say envy. They gave envy a dollar. Envy used the word we a lot when posting videos at Properties with Caesar. In the description of this Instagram post, Caesar writes, we can fix it and make a profit. What up, y'all? It's DJ Envy. Nothing at Jay. Join us July 31st right here at the Jacob Javits Center. We're doing a real estate seminar talking everything real estate from Airbnb to wholesaling to flipping. Not only that, you can partner with us on some deals. Make some money with us. Your partner. DJ Envy is not being honest about his relationship with Caesar. He may not have directly accepted money, but he promoted financial partnerships as a reason to go to the seminars so many people were like you don't mess with him he's a he's a con but he's a he felon he, he's a criminal he's a this he's a that you know don't mess with him his behavior alleged in the complaints is indicative of someone who is still a con man started with no money and here i am 50 million dollars later in real estate how much 50 million how is this dude claiming to own 50 million dollars in real estate yet not have the ability to pay anyone back in the past three to five years what up y'all it's dj envy i know it's late at night we're still in the office it's going to be hard for envy to prove that he was a non-party to caesar's business operations when his office was literally right next door and he mentions we did deals in the majority of their posts but now it seems like seems like you're fishing for things to put me involved just because i'm in the office office with somebody else doesn't mean that me and that person is doing anything with each other. Caesar's last post on his personal Instagram page is February 20th of this year. The last post of Caesar on DJ Envy's account is on July 26, 2022. I didn't hit with, with Caesar a couple of times and flip money in less than 30 days. 
Some of my bills is like the school. We still got, and I haven't got my money back yet. But I know that's part of the game. Since Envy platformed Caesar and promoted him for four years, I think it's his responsibility to be completely transparent with everything that happened. Credit yeah. card scams, right? Credit card yeah. scams. Yeah, so before that, I, from the age of 16 on, I was selling drugs. Even better, Caesar found his mentor in prison. The funny thing is that when I was in jail, I actually met a guy who was a, a real estate developer already, and he actually kind of became my mentor. He inspired me to get into real estate once I came home. He didn't say the mentor's name, but how funny would it be if the guy was Mr. Three-Time Felon real estate mogul Jay Morrison? And I even tell you, because when we had that conversation, I called him last night. I'm like, do you owe anybody money? Caesar told me no. Now that DJ Envy has been alerted to the numerous lawsuits alleging investors being owed 100% of their money, it's hard for me to give him the benefit of the doubt moving forward. I think you and Envy's, you know, y'all partnership is, is, has really helped, you know, the both of y'all in a real way. Cause DJ Envy benefited from promoting Caesar for four years. I think it's partially his responsibility to work with Caesar to make sure the victims get paid back. Additionally, Envy allegedly gave Caesar $500,000 for this apartment project. Caesar raised money from Envy and Associates, and not a single ounce of progress was made on the property. For years, Envy was still promoting him despite a pretty massive red flag. And here I am, $50 million later in real estate. We currently own uh, 3,000 units. It's time for Caesar to prove he's either legit or a con man. And back then, I thought nothing was going to happen. It was a white collar crime. And I've done so much other things worse than that, right? <laughs> At that point, I'm like, oh, this is, this is nothing. He either sells units to pay off victims or he never had them in the first place. And if he never owned more than a few houses while being promoted as someone who owned 3,000 units, then I think the pressure DJ Envy is feeling is deserved. Just as I completed writing the script for this video, I came across this post on Instagram of an attorney letter alleging their client sent Caesar $1.4 million in 2017 and 2018. A commenter wrote, they got my boy for 60K. One thing that may help the victims is we at least know that when the feds come knocking, Caesar won't be able to run away. Thanks for watching.